Milk jug. Quart of chocolate milk. Ooh. Milk. Four cups. That plus four cups of milk. The calories are calories. Wow. I think the lightest I was, 229. And then now like 247, 240. Solid change. Not bad at all. Holy shit. What's going on everyone? It's Cecile Suede and in this video, I'm gonna be attempting Sam Selleck's bulking diet. So Sam Selleck is a 21 year old, 240 pound bodybuilder who absolutely broke the internet by showcasing his insane bulking diet. There is so much food in this diet plan and it is absolutely insane that a bodybuilder eats this way. This is going to consist of a little over 4,200 calories coming from five not so clean meals. Look, this is absolutely outrageous. I've done Sam Selleck's cutting diet in the past. That that was absolutely insane for a bodybuilder to follow. Low calorie chocolate milk. Low cal buns. Salmon sushi bowl of ramen. You can eat what you want. Food's food, that's the point. You can only imagine what the dude's bulking diet looks like. But look, make sure you smash the like button right now if you enjoy this. Let me know what else you'd like to see in the comment section down below after you've given the video a like. Let's get started, fam. Okay, so we got meal number one about to go down. Actually, we're combining meal number one and meal number two together because Sam Selleck's day of bulking typically starts with half a container of carb master chocolate milk and a ridiculous amount of cereal. I'm figuring why in the world would you eat these separately? Like milk, cereal, together, one bowl, duh. This is gonna be a little over 200 grams of carbs in just one meal. That takes me to two points here. Okay, number one, this is gonna be a video where I really showcase this dude's ridiculous bulking diet for bodybuilding. I personally cannot eat all of these meals all in one sitting because I have, this is not what you think it is. Well, it's insulin, it is a drug, but I have type one diabetes. I'm a type one diabetic. I've had type one diabetes for the last 23 plus years of my life. So this is insulin, right? If I take too much of this, it can really, really hurt. Not only can it hurt me, it can actually be super fatal. So I don't wanna die and I just can't be taking a ridiculous amount of insulin to eat 200 grams of carbs of cereal in one sitting. But that leads me to my point is that I'm doing this video to really give you all amazing bodybuilding bulking tips as a natural because I once started my fitness journey many years ago at around 145 to 150 pounds. I'll be sure to put a picture up on the screen. Now it's probably around like 18 to 20% body fat, really just skinny fat with no muscle at all. And then now I typically sit at around 175 pounds, around 10 to 12% body fat year round, but that's a ton of lean muscle mass that I personally added as a natural. And I'll give you all as much bulk bodybuilding muscle gaining tips try saying that 10 times as possible in this video rather than just stuffing my face with you know gallons of chocolate milk and giant size literally giant size family size cereal boxes with that being said let's uh, go ahead and give this a go fail oh my gosh chocolate milk all over my face You know, I wish I could say that this is as ridiculous as this bulking diet is gonna get, but it's not. We got a lot of more crazy shit involved in today's day in the diet of Sam Solik. We have almost 200 grams of carbs worth of Honey Nut Cheerios here. He just said cereal. I'm not too sure what kind of cereal he eats, but I chose Honey Nut Cheerios. Because it's gluten-free, I have celiac disease on top of having diabetes. I know, it sucks. Thank you, life. But gotta deal with the carbs that you're dealt with in life. We're gonna go ahead and give this a go. I don't think I've ever had Carb Master chocolate milk with cereal in general. Like I usually just use almond milk. Wow, can confirm. That is an absolute bulking banker. So for those of you that are not hip, Carb Master milk is typically just high protein, lower carb milk. So there's zero grams of fat, seven grams of carbs, and 11 grams of protein with 80 calories per cup. That is actually insane. And it tastes really, really good. I also wanna ask you all, where did you start your fitness journey or where are you currently at? What is your height? What is your weight? What do you think your body fat is? How much muscle do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below with your journey, right? Like let's conversate a little bit. What's your goal? Let's talk to each other and really figure out where we're trying to get to in 2024. Because again, in my videos, I wanna help you all as much as possible. I want everyone just helping each other, man. I want this one big community in my YouTube channel. We're trying to make gains together. Speaking about making gains, I'm gonna keep eating two 200 grams worth of carbs of cereal to make gains. Oh, oh, oh. 
Okay, so I gotta ask y'all, this is extremely important, your life depends on it. Are you of a more cereal type of bite or more milk and less cereal? Let me know in the comment section down below. That's damn good. Okay guys, so we're doing something monumental here for meal number three, which is gonna be a pre-workout protein shake or Sam Selleck's bulking diet, which is gonna be a scoop of impact whey protein. I'm also adding a little bit more carb master milk because I didn't finish obviously half this carton for meal number one. With the impact whey protein, I've never tried carb master chocolate milk, which is already really, really good with impact whey protein. So this has to be a banger. Like if this is not a banger, then I don't know what a banger is. Cheers to the squad, the suede squad, AKA you. Wow, that is a 10 out of 10. Be sure to give that a try. If you have Impact Whey Protein, which I assume so many of you guys do, if you're not hip to this, what are you doing? Be sure to check out the Impact Whey Protein by my protein, linked in description box down below. A seal VIP at checkout saves you 40% off your entire order. So make sure you're using that discount code. It is literally the cheapest protein powder you can possibly get if you're trying to get supplements on a budget-friendly diet. Anyways, be sure to combine it with this Carb Master. It's really, really good. And it bumps up the protein by an extra 11 grams for just one serving. If you're trying to get even more protein in a protein shake, which is as bro as you could possibly get, not only are we uh, the suede squad over here, we're the bro squad, clearly. Protein on protein, man. Oof. I assume the pump is gonna be insane after all these carbs coming from cereal and protein. Should be good. Super good. Let's go to the gym. See you guys there. <laughs> Okay, wow, my chest is way too burnt out right now. So I just got done with Sam Sullivan's bulking chest workout routine. So we're supposed to start off with the incline Smith machine press, but I just replaced that with the incline dumbbell bench press because I didn't want to wait all damn day. All the Smith machines were taken. Rare occurrence, two cables right next to each other, both open at once. If that's not a sign, I don't know what is. But we're supposed to move on to the cable chest flies, then the pec deck for only one set to failure. So this all consists of around four to six sets of six to eight reps. Honestly, that's a lot of volume combined with strength training. I really don't recommend that, guys. You don't need to do more than three sets of around either a six to 10 rep range or 12 to 15 rep range, depending on strength or hypertrophy with your fitness goal. But you really don't need more than three sets per exercise. Of around two to three exercises, per muscle group. Again, this is as a natural lifter. I'm only trying to give you all advice for natural bodybuilding. If you're interested in something else, maybe I'm not for you. But look, speaking about bulking, I want to give you all a little bulking physique update. I've been focusing on lean bulking the first time in a very long time. I always maintain being lean. So here's a little physique update. Oh, shit. <laughs> I feel like I'm looking pretty good, pretty lean as well for gaining lean muscle mass and being on a calorie surplus every day. But that's what happens when you're taking it very slow. Remember, when you're trying to focus on gaining muscle, make sure the period is at least six to eight months. A lot of people think you can gain an insane amount of muscle in just like three months or so. No, you can cut body fat a lot faster than you can build muscle. So anyways, guys, if you wanna follow my personal natural bodybuilding routines, I'll be sure to link my program in the description box down below. You get your own workout plan suited towards how many days you wanna train and also it's gonna be something you can follow and stay consistent with every single week. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead, go back home. We have a lot more calories to eat, and more pumps to be gained. Yeah, baby, French fry games. Oh, yeah.
Okay guys, so I'm sitting down to an insane post-workout meal, AKA meal number four, which can consist of two double burgers with a ton of french fries to the side. So Sam Sulik typically has five guys for meal number four for his post-workout meal. However, I figured this would be a great time to give you all some amazing lean bulking tips to gain muscle as a natural the right way because having five guys every single day after your workout is guaranteed gonna get you fat or a majority of you because you're not gonna be able to control your fat intake and your caloric intake there. So what you wanna do is use more macro friendly foods, you know, like you want to choose leaner options of things. Like for example, the patties, rather than having like 73, 27 meat, like five guys uses, that's like makes like freaking crack, but it makes you feel like shit. We use 93, seven lean ground beef. It tastes really good, but only eight grams of fat versus like 20 grams of fat per serving with the same amount of protein. And then I have gluten-free bread, but gluten-free freaking sucks when it comes to breads because it's higher calorie. I just am a sicko and have celiac disease and I'm allergic to gluten. So use lower calorie bread buns if you don't have celiac disease, which is like a majority of you guys. Then we have these Alexia French fries to the side. Alexia French fries, I wanna show you all this. It's only three and a half grams of fat per serving with 130 calories. Typically French fries, especially at five guys, would be like 11 to 15 grams of fat per serving. So this is a great alternative. And speaking about food alternatives with amazing macros, there's gonna be so many of you guys asking about this because I get literally update requests every single day about Brotes. Brotes is my new protein oatmeal company that I'm starting and it's gonna be absolutely absolutely out of this charts. When it comes to macro profiles, you cannot beat this product. There's gonna be 270 calories per serving and each serving is 71 grams, which is gonna equate to a massive bowl of delicious oatmeal with 30 grams of protein per serving and freaking oatmeal, only about 28 to 31 grams of carbs and two and a half grams of fat for the maple brown sugar flavor. And we also have chocolate peanut as well, but I'll update you guys on Brotes. It should be launching very soon. I'm just gonna like put random updates in my videos and vlogs. So stay updated with Brotes, man. It's gonna be the best protein oatmeal company in the freaking game, I promise. And you can't beat the macros, like whether you're bulking or cutting. But anyways, guys, now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and give this insane bulking meal a try. Where do I even start? <sighs> so much meat. Wow, Sam Solik would be so proud, but I can confirm that I've got the meat sweats going on. I don't even think it's appropriate to show you all, but literally, <laughs> meat sweats. Okay, I don't wanna give you all the wrong impression here. Even though this is an awesome bulking meal, you don't wanna make 1,600 calories worth of a meal of this with 114 grams of protein per serving. What you wanna do is eat like a third of this. You could easily just make one patty for one burger, a third of these french fries, but you guys get the point. I'm just trying to show you all how much Sam Solik eats in one meal, which is around 1,600 calories worth the five guys, but 1,600 calories in five guys is like one little burger with half these french fries. So it goes to show you when you do use awesome macro-friendly foods like this, you can eat a lot more. This is just an explanation, again, to show you all that perspective. So eat macro-friendly foods, and uh, if you are a true bro and wanna make Sam Sulik proud, get the meat sweats. So we're moving on to meal number five in Sam Selick's bulking diet, which is gonna be the last and final meal of the day. And this is gonna consist of donuts and more chocolate milk. Not just a little bit of chocolate milk, but four cups of chocolate milk and four donuts. So I looked everywhere in the grocery store for gluten-free donuts because of my damn celiac disease. And it took me like 20 minutes, but I finally found gluten-free powdered donuts. So this is as good as it's gonna get. I don't think Sam Selick would really approve of these, but we're gonna see if they're good together. Never. That really just happened, that, that happened. Okay, I'm gonna try these donuts. Anyways guys, gluten-free donuts for the first time. Already not a fan with what just happened, but cheers to the squad, the suede squad. Holy shit. Okay, these are actually really, really good. I don't remember the last time I had regular donuts, probably like 15 years ago before I was diagnosed with celiac disease, but damn, these are good. However, I'll have to say, they're 270 calories for one freaking donut. So that could be a whole bowl of brotes or like a burger or something. So don't recommend that, obviously. Even if you're on a bulking diet, avoid shit like this, man. Try sticking to simple whole foods. That's a massive tip that's gonna take you such a long way. And I know it's so easy and like common sense, obviously stick to simple whole meals, but you have to always make sure you're reminding yourself of that because every little excuse can make you eat high calorie shitty food when you're bulking. Literally, you will drop everything and say, you know what? I'm bulking. I'm gaining muscle. Say that enough times. Look back at your physique in just one month. You will literally get fat. All right, we're doing it. We're dipping these gluten-free powdered donuts with the Carb Master chocolate milk. Sam, you got to give this a try, bro. Wow. Yeah, I approve. I think we both approve, man. There's powder in my chocolate milk. Wow. 
Now I gotta clean up this damn thing. That's gonna be a workout itself. So it's safe to say it took me about 16 years to clean up that damn powdered donut mess on the floor. But get this, guys, the total macros and calories in Sam Sullock's bulking diet consisted of 4,255 calories coming from 546 grams of carbs, 121 grams of fat, and 244 grams of protein. That is absolutely absurd. Obviously, nobody should be following this, and he clearly doesn't tell you all to do that as well. He's simply just showing his diet and what works for him on a daily basis, but I could see why it gets so much traction. Look, a lot of you have to realize that Sam Sulek is 0.000001% of the population. We are not all striving to be professional bodybuilders. I'm just trying to give you all realistic and natural advice, and hopefully this video really did help you out with those lean bulking tips. And look, here's a bonus tip for all of you guys sticking around to the end because I really do appreciate it. Make sure you stick to a 200 to 300 calorie surplus daily when you're focused on gaining lean muscle mass, the right natural way. That way, you're not going to rush things, you're not going to get fat, and you're not going to yo-yo from bulking to cutting. Hopefully, these tips help you out. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button right now. Let me know in the comment section down below what else you'd like to see on my YouTube channel. And subscribe if you are new. Hit that damn notification bell so you're tuning in on every single one of my videos every single Wednesday. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see every single one of you in the next video.